hello friends i am here with third video and in this video i am going to discuss about shortest job first and as i told in the very first video in shortest job first there are two ways non preemptive and preemptive so in this video i am going to discuss non preemptive so when comparing non preemptive and preemptive this is easier than preemptive because in here we does not require remaining time you will understand that when i do the preemptive scheduling policy and here i said that we do not require remaining time that means that means in uh, non preemptive we execute the whole process as it is right so this is what happens in non preemptive this is the uh, difference between preemptive and non preemptive and now let's see what happens in this uh, non preemptive shortest job first here we give the priority to the minimum burst time right we give the priority to the minimum burst time so as same as in the first come first serve we have a uh, process arrival time and the burst time so i think now you are familiar with the table the columns and let's start drawing the gun chart right so we have to place the processes here now let's see p1 it is arrival time is zero that means without without any doubts p1 arrives first right so it is arrival time is zero and we have write the burst time here it is five and then from uh, P2, P3, 4 and 5, you can see within these 5 seconds, only P2 and P3 arrives, right? So from this P2 and P3, who has the minimum burst time, right? We have to check that. So from these two, it is P2 because it is 2 and P3 has 3. So we have to write P2 here and the burst time is 2, 5 plus 2, 7 and it means this 7 seconds P4 also arrives and now we are done with P1 and P2, we have P3 and 4 from these two which has the minimum burst time, yes it is P3, so we write P3 here and it is 3, 7 plus 3. 10. Right, so now within this 10 seconds, P5 also arrives, and from these two processes, which comes next? Yes, it is P5 because its burst time is 1. So even though P4 arrives before P5, we have to select the minimum burst time, so it becomes P5. And it is 1, so it becomes 11, and finally P4. It is 4, so the total is 15. Right, so now let's check the total of the burst time. Here it is 5, 10, 14, and 15. Right, we also 15, so without any doubt, we can say that our gun chart is correct right so now we are done with the first step and let's count the waiting time and turn down time right so let's start finding the waiting time and now you know the equations very well so i write it in a very short way waiting time equals Wasting time minus arrival time. 
right? So let's start with P1. Visiting time, it is 0 minus arrival time 0. Arts is 0. And then let's go to P2. It's 5 minus 2. It's 3. And then P3. It is 7 minus Four, which becomes 3 again and then P4 it is 11 minus 6 5 and finally P5 it is 10 minus 8 becomes 2 we have the total waiting time it is 13 milliseconds and then the average waiting time, 13 divided by, here it's 5. So the answer becomes 2.6 milliseconds. Right, now let's find the turnaround time. Here also now you know the equation turn down time equals waiting time plus first time. Right, let's start with P1. It is 0 plus 5 and the answer is 5 then P2 is 3 plus 2 again 5 then p3 3 plus 3 6 then p4 5 plus 4 9 and finally p5 2 plus 1 3 Right, now let's get the total. It is 28 milliseconds. And then the average turnaround time. 28 divided by 5, which becomes 5.6 milliseconds. Right. So now we are done with all five steps and we have finished shortest job first non preemptive schedule. Right, so in the next video I'll explain how to do the preemptive. And if you really think these videos are beneficial for you, you can like us, you can subscribe us, and we'll meet in the next video. Thank you.